Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a fall inspired look. Mainly we're going to be using this naked palette. We're going to throw it back. We're going to throw it back this video. I chose this palette because I'm sure everyone has it already. If not, haves, haves, has colors similar to what I am using today. Um, you don't have to use this palette. It's just what I'm using. There is plenty drugstore alternatives out there. Um, but I just decided to stick to one palette instead of like a bunch of random colors. So if you want to see how to get this look, go ahead and keep on watching. So after we primed our eyelids, um, I like to set my eyelid primer. Sometimes it tends to get sticky or like eyeshadows tend to grab in certain areas. But if you apply a powder over it, it allows you to blend out those colors super easy. I'm just going to go and take this Real Techniques fluffy brush and just grab Walk of Shame and Foxy and just dust this all over. It doesn't have to be too precise because it is a color that matches your skin tone. Next we're going to go in with a super fluffy brush. And we're going to go in with Naked from the Naked palette. And we're going to dust this right in the crease. Now we're going to go in with Buck and just place that right in the crease. So always concentrate at the outer and then work towards the inner part once you have most of your product placed right there. Um, and then just take a fluffy brush. Um, no product on it and just blend those two colors together kind of do circular motions but you want to make sure that there is no harsh lens whatsoever now go in with the flat shader brush this is a MAC 213 and we're gonna go in with a sidecar and half baked now going in with that big fluffy brush that we used for Naked, we're going to go back in with Naked and just kind of blend that all out. And I recommend going in with the lighter color first because um, if you go in with a darker color and try to cover it up, it, it can get muddy. And then if you want it a little bit darker, you can go back in with the um, smaller tapered fluffy brush. Go back in with Buck and then place that in the crease again. Okay, so I applied my liner, mascara, and I also applied lashes off camera because it takes me forever to do lashes. Okay, so now we're gonna smoke out our bottom lash line. We're just gonna go ahead and start off with Buck, and you're gonna place this close to your lower lash and then smug it all the way in. Next we're gonna go in with smog, which is a really dark brown smoky color. Um and just place that closest to the lash line as possible. Now for one of my favorite tricks, I do this almost all the time, I am going to go in with Crave from the Naked Basics palette. So I'm going to go in with a little flat brush like this. Um, this is going to make it really easy to get in the lash line. And I'm kind of just keeping it where the width of the brush is on the lower lid and not really going past that. We're going to go in with virgin place that right on the tear duct for the little area we have on the inner corner we're gonna go ahead and just apply our lid color right there just so everything blends nice and easy next we're gonna go in with NYX's golden bronze liner and place this right on the waterline Kim Kardashian used to use 
um, a pencil like this all the time in her waterline. Right, now onto the face. Um, next we're going to go in with Benefits Hula Bronzer and just apply this to the hollows of her cheekbones. Next, we're going to apply a little bit of a Benefits Rock Tour and right there. Just a little bit because I don't want it to be um, too pink. And then we're going to highlight. I'm using a Max Naked Pigment. This is like the perfect pigment to highlight. It is so beautiful. And then just hit the high points of your cheekbones. So I'm going in with NYX Natural Lip Liner. I'm going in with Max Pretty Please and just tapping it um, on my lips. And so this is um, the natural lip look you could go for. Or this look, which is one of my favorites, um, especially for fall, is all about the dark, vampy lip. This one is Milani and Sangria, which this packaging is so freaking adorable. These aren't super duper matte. Um, they don't claim to be matte whatsoever, but um, if you're looking for a really good, like, purpley, dark lip, this is the one to get. So that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up if you guys want to see a full coverage contour highlight foundation routine. And leave any comments down below on any requests that you want to see, whether it's Halloween, tutorials, or any fall inspired looks. Thank you for subscribing if you have. If you haven't, go ahead and do that now. Um, everything that I used on my face today will be down in the description box, so don't forget to open that thing up. And that's it for this tutorial. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.